We're standing amidst the most remarkable pioneering effort ever undertaken by the Allentown Art Museum. The reason we're bringing this exhibition to the Allentown Art Museum is that it is uh, creating a new path of understanding for art that has been somewhat marginalized as illustration. Uh, but what we've brought together are 165 works of art by 140 artists. And this is conceived, uh, in my mind, about three years ago, uh, but brought to reality by our remarkable uh, guest curators, Pat and Jeannie Wilshire. Hi, my name is Patrick Wilshire, and I'm the guest curator for the At the Edge Art of the Fantastic exhibition. And I just want to take a moment and uh, talk about a few of my favorite pieces that are in the show. And uh, we'll start with this one here. This is N.C. Wyeth, uh, and this piece is called The King's Henchman. Uh, interestingly enough, uh, this piece was actually originally done as an ad for a piano company. Here we have a uh, trifecta of works by a group that's sometimes known as the first family of fantastic art. Uh, we've got Julie Bell and uh, Julie's son, Dave Palumbo, and Julie's husband, Boris Vallejo. And you can see that Dave, who is a very young artist, um, has almost a completely different style from, from either Boris or Julie, in spite of being taught by both of them. Here we have a, a classic example of the work of the brothers Hildebrandt, Greg and Tim, uh, from their 1977 Tolkien calendar. Um, the Hildebrands, of course, are renowned for their work not only for the Tolkien calendars, but also for creating the original movie poster for Star Wars. Tim Hildebrandt has passed away, but Greg continues to paint um, and continues to paint in a very similar but yet clearly distinctive style. Uh, here we have a painting called Smog Destroys Lake Town, which was painted in 2010. Uh, it was created for the Ilixcon Symposium uh, and was largely painted at the Ilixcon Symposium. Then here we have a, an image that many of you uh, watching this will no doubt find strangely familiar. Um, this is actually a painting that Greg did, a, a personal work, uh, painted in the early 1970s based off of a nightmare that he had and was unable to shake. And so he finally painted it to, to rid himself of the nightmare and it sat in his closet uh, for almost 10 years. And then in 1982, Black Sabbath licensed the image to use for their out cover for the album Mob Rules. I think the most significant reason to come to the show is just an opportunity to get a chance to see these works in the flesh. And so this show is an opportunity to really see these works really for the first time. Even if you know the work, if you're a fan, um, it's totally different when you get the chance to see the original paintings. And this is the first time that the opportunity to see this number and this breadth of originals in this field has, has existed, and particularly in this gorgeous setting here at the Allentown Art Museum. Um, everything looks absolutely fabulous.